टू लॉन्ग पैरल वायर्स ऑफ नेग्लिजिबल रेजिस्टेंसेस आर कनेक्टेड एट वन एंड टू ए रेजिस्टेंस आर एंड एट अदर एंड टू ए डीसी वोल्टेज सोर्स लेट्स से इट्स वी द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द एक्सेस ऑफ द वायर्स इज ईटा टाइम्स ग्रेटर देन द क्रॉस सेक्शनल रेडियस ऑफ ईच वायर सो लेट्स से द क्रॉस सेक्शनल रेडियस इज ए देन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम इज ईटा ए At what value of resistance R does the resultant force on interaction between the wires turn into zero? So, what are the two forces which are going to cancel each other? Each other. First is because the current I is flowing, so there will be a magnetic field force, and currents are in opposite direction, so the magnetic field force will repel each other. Because of the magnetic field force, the wires will repel each other. And second. because we have connected a battery here there is a potential difference on both the wires so there will be a charge accumulated on both of them so this is a positive and there will be a positive charge here negative charge here so that will be the attractive force so we are supposed to find for what value of r this attractive force because of the electrostatics and the magnetic field force because of the current i they should cancel each other so here we can recall that for for two parallel cylindrical conductors capacitance per unit length is pi epsilon by ln eta this we have derived in capacitors and electric field due to a charged long wire is given by at a distance r the electric field due to a long wire with a linear charge density lambda is 2k lambda by r so we are going to use these two results which we have seen before so here let's calculate the electric field force first so what is the electric field at this point it is 2k lambda by this distance eta a so force here is lambda times e so we are not doing qe because we are considering one unit length of the wire everywhere charge on a unit length is same as lambda so electric field force is lambda e is equal to 2k lambda square by eta a now lambda is not given in the question so how we can resolve it is lambda is equal to cv so for a capacitor q is equal to cv again q is equal to lambda because of the unit length and c we know is pi epsilon by ln eta times v so in terms of v we will get lambda so let's put it here this is our electric field force now magnetic field force is because of the two parallel wires is mu not i1 i2 by 2 pi r so here i1 i2 is same by 2 pi into distance between them eta a so fe is equal to fm and that's what we are supposed to find when that happens what is the value of r so here v in fe i can write as ir so just put these values here and here instead of v put ir most of the things will get cancelled and you will get the resistance as root mu not by epsilon not ln eta by i pi which is our answer